Many people think of fountain pens as precious, delicate things that are best left as desk trophies. But we have a list that we are gonna share with you today of pens that we think are perfect for daily use. So we had originally made a quick draw fountain pen video back in 2015, but some of the pens on that list don't hold up super well or we don't sell them anymore. So we thought it was time for a new list. When Brian and I were selecting pens for this list, we were taking four things into account. Ease of capping and uncapping, portability, you know, size features that make it easily carryable, durability, because if it breaks in your pocket, it's not a very good uh, quick draw pen, is it? And reliability, meaning performance. It needs to write and write every time. The first pen on our list is gonna be the Pilot Varsity. Now this pen is unique for a couple reasons. The main reason is that it's a disposable fountain pen. And of all of the pens on this list, it's probably the easiest to just give somebody and say, hey, here's a fountain pen, write with it. They're not gonna need to learn anything. They just write with it and it's good to go. And you don't need to really worry about losing it or giving it to someone who might break it. It's more or less expendable. And that gives it a lot of freedom. It's probably the most penable friendly pen on this list because you can hand them out like candy. There's no need to ink it up or clean it out. It's always ready to go and it stays inked up for a nice long time. It doesn't dry out. It really, really holds up. All right, next up on the list, we have an old favorite for a lot of folks, the Pilot Metropolitan or the Pilot MR as it may be known in parts of the world. Um, also kind of give a little honorable mention to the Kikuno in the Explorer because they are kind of in a similar vein, but uh, use the same nibs and stuff like that, kind of like platinum with the the Prezier, Plazier and the Profonte and all that kind of stuff. These can all be kind of lumped into the same family, but the Metro I think is the one that really stands out. And that, that one's metal. So I think it's like, just really gonna hold up to some abuse for those of us that like to live life hard with our pens and our cargo shorts, right, Drew? And- uh, no, no, maybe, maybe some of that, <laughs> not all of it. <laughs> I may or may not have disassembled a carport with fountain pens in my cargo shorts pocket. But anyway, I digress. Let's talk about the Metropolitan, shall we? This comes with everything that you need to get it started. Not only does it come with a cartridge, like most other cartridge converter pens, but it actually comes with the converter too, a little squeeze converter. So uh, not something super common in pens in this price range. So that is pretty cool and pretty easy to use. It's a great starter pen. I think, you know, you got a couple different nib options, the design of it, very classic, very professional as well. So I think this tends to be a really good pen that people can use pretty much in every kind of area of their life and not raise too many eyebrows. Um, and uh, you know, uses Pilot's nibs, which are very reliable, great writing pens. You can use them with some finer nibs. So if you have some really junky paper, you can pretty much get what you need with anything in this Pilot family. And if you did not want to be super professional, they do also have some retro funky designs and some wacky animal print if you do want to uh, be a little bit more on the wild side. Okay, next up we have the Twisby Swipe, which is the newest member of the Twisby family. It checks all of those nice quick draw pen boxes and is super accessible for new users because it comes with everything you need to get started. And I mean everything. It comes with a big cartridge, which is filled with ink, and it's just a, it's a considerable size compared to other market standard cartridges. And it comes with not one, but two converters. Any converters on a Twisby is kind of rare, but two, that's awesome. A regular one that's a piston and then a fun spring-loaded one as well. So you can just pick however you want to fill it. So my favorite thing about the Twisby Swipe is that the filling options are a lot of fun to use in addition to checking all of those great quick draw boxes. Next up on the list, we're moving up a little bit in price here, getting maybe out of some starter pens, getting into some more mid-level or maybe next level pens. So this one is the Traveler's Brass Pen. So I personally just really like this pen. I'm normally into bigger pens, but for some reason, this little cutie just like, I just wanna stick it in my pocket and carry it around with me. It's so small, it only takes cartridges. You can't eyedropper it or whatever. So it's like you're pretty much committed to the cartridge thing, 
But that's okay because it's such a darn reliable writer. It's got a very fine nib on it and uh, doesn't put out a whole ton of ink, but it starts up pretty much every time. And you can have it clipped in your pocket and basically not even feel it or know it because it's so, even though it's a brass pen, it's so small that um, it's not super heavy, just enough, just enough so that you know that it's there, but not so much that it's like making your like pockets continue to, to move once you stop turning your body. You know what I'm talking about? You know when you're carrying like really heavy stuff in your pockets and you can like feel it shifting around? You don't get any of that with this. It's just like a nice cozy little pen that just kind of hugs in your pocket. So I really like that a lot. It's also great as a tinkerer's pen because you can unscrew the little lanyard part, you can take the clip off, you can just take the, you can just, I don't know, I'm kind of weird like that. I like to take my pens apart. No, that's fun. <laughs> yeah, it is kind of fun, right? Um, it's a little short to try to use it if you're not gonna post it. I guess technically you can. But no, you, you have to post you, you it. You have to post you can, it. You kind of have to. But it's oh, yeah. it's so smooth, though, to do that. It's just a very pleasurable experience. All around, very thin pen, but I, I don't know. I just I really like this pen. I think it, it's a good one for this list. All right, next up on our list, Brian, we are going to talk about the Platinum Preppy. Now, this has been a go-to starter pen for a lot of people for a lot of years and for good reason. It's super lightweight, super portable, and accessible for a lot of new users. One interesting thing about it though, which I really love, is the cap. Brian, this thing has that spring-loaded cap that Platinum is kind of famous for, and because it's a spring-loaded cap, it kind of like just seals everything together so air does not get to your nib and your feed, doesn't dry things out. These pens will write for a crazy long time, even if you choose to ignore them, which, you know, sometimes it happens, even with the best of intentions. The Platinum Preppy also shares the same nib, same feed with some of its other pens, like the Platinum Placier and the Platinum Prefonte. So all three of these pens are going to give you the same writing experience with slightly different aesthetic options. Uh, finally, there's one thing that's kind of interesting about the Preppy that maybe isn't a starter feature, but if you wanted to, you could eyedropper convert it, which means you seal the pen a little bit more with uh, some silicone grease, maybe an O-ring, and fill the entire barrel with ink, giving you a crazy big ink capacity. But uh, at that point, maybe not keep it in your pocket because with great power comes great responsibility, right? Yeah, if you're carrying an eyedropper filled pen, basically of any kind, just open in your pocket, you 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 know you're you're living life on the edge there a little bit, and not that, that not that it can't be done, but you know right. you use it with caution, and that's that's totally fine. Um, but it's a popular option for a lot of people because the converter on the platinum it's proprietary, it tends to be a little expensive. It actually costs more than the preppy itself. So the eyedropper thing is is a way to kind of get in in the in the less expensive way, or you can refill the cartridges. You know that's that's another option that people like to do too. But even still, very solid pen, good choice for this list room. All right, next one up on the list. This one is a pretty unique pen. Um, you'll notice we have a couple of retractable nib fountain pens on the list, and this one is the most affordable of the bunch. Now, I mean, obviously in the ballpoint and rollerball world, click pens are nothing that fancy. But with fountain pens, you got a lot more stuff going on inside of that pen. It's a little more difficult, a little more engineering to do. Not only did Platinum do that at a relatively affordable price point, but also they did it in a translucent color demonstrator pen, a lot of different color options. You can see everything that's going on inside of there. You got a lot of springs and channels with pegs that go through them. If you're into that kind of mechanical, I don't know, observational kind of thing, this is a really cool pen to tinker around with. You know, um, and uh, it's a it's a steel nib, so it's gonna write. You know, probably a little bit more like your your preppies and, and some of your um, you know stiffer nibs, like those on those more affordable pens. But you got a lot more complexity going on with the filling mechanism um, and uh, the convenience of it too. You don't ever have to worry about misplacing your cap or posting it or whatever. It's long enough to where you can use it very comfortably in any size hand without having to worry about posting or unposting. It feels very balanced. Um, you know, pretty much no matter your hand size. And it's it's not a super heavy pen. Some of the other retractable pens, you get a lot of weight because there's a lot of just mechanisms inside of there. But this one is very, very light. So it's very easy to kind of transport and uh, carry around with you. Okay, next we have one of my personal favorites, the Pilot E95S. And I love talking about this pen because I cannot say enough good things about it. As a quick draw pen, I think it is fantastic. This is another one where unposted, 
not quite large enough to use comfortably, you do kind of have to post it, but posting it and capping it is an experience. It is secured on the pen by these kind of, you know, uh, tension, what do you call those things, Brian? They're like, like tension these, they're bands. They're, they're like tension springs. Bands. Yeah, tension springs. So it creates this really, really smooth, it's not a snap, it's just kind of a push and you know when it's nice and closed, it does not dry out. It's a very, very nice secure cap and you know, posting it feels just as fun. The designs are very, very timeless. Both the black and the maroon version, I think are going to stand the test of time no matter how old this pen ends up being forever but the writing experience is phenomenal as well. It's almost like it is a pocket pen when it's closed and then a full-size pen when you're writing with it and it's posted. And you also don't have to sacrifice the normal converter situation, whereas some pocket pens you're limited to this little tiny standard international short cartridge. This one can take your you know standard pilot converters, not the big Con 70, but all the other ones fit it just fine, as well as the standard pilot cartridge, which is sizable. So E95S for the win. Yeah, I'm a big fan of this one. The one drawback, maybe you sacrifice just a teensy <gasps> bit, teensy bit of the durability. Like, I don't know that I would just go clipping this in my pocket on my jeans, like with my keys in there. You know, some of the other pens, I feel more comfortable doing that with. This one, you know, this looks a little nicer pen. You're crossing over into the gold nib, you know, kind of realm with this one. So the price point is starting to get a little higher, you know, so maybe, maybe treat this one with a little more, little more delicacy, but uh, it's still, it still is a fantastic pen. And, and it's definitely great as like a carry around everyday pen. All right, now this one is kind of an obvious, kind of an easy one. It was on the original quick draw list and it was really a no brainer when we had to put it on you the have updated to. one. You have to, you have to, it's the pilot vanishing point. Started out as the Namiki Capless back in the day. Pilot, Namiki, same company, different, slightly different product lines to them, but it's been the vanishing point for quite some time now. Also, throw in another honorable mention, like some of the other pilots, like some of the other Platinums, they use the same nib unit, similar types of mechanisms on the Decimo, the vanishing point Decimo, as well as the vanishing point LS, as well as the Fermo, if you're familiar with that, a little bit of a deep cut there. But uh, anyway, all the same nib unit, so it's a great writing experience, 18 karat gold nibs. They're little nibs, but they feel really smooth, and they provide a very consistent writing experience. Even though you, it's a retractable nib, sometimes with retractable nibs, the reliability could maybe be in question because you have a lot of things engineered into that mechanism, but with the click and it's got a hood in there that you kind of have to pass the nib through, there's just a little bit more going on than your typical, you like my hand maneuvers there. I don't know if that's gonna translate well into anything, but just trust me, there's a lot going on in the front of this pen, but it seals up pretty darn well. I think they've done a respectable job and a lot of people, a lot of people carry this pen around as an everyday pen. So I really consider this one as like kind of the champion of the quick draw pens really. Um, but uh, yeah, it's just a solid pen. A lot of people love it, even if they don't carry it around very much. They use it just as a quick draw for like meetings and have it at their desk or whatever. It's just a pen you can pick up, click it, carry on about your business. Very solid pen, love it. All right, well, if the vanishing point was not the king of the quick draws, then perhaps the Lamy 2000 is. You could say the Lamy 2000 is just the king of all fountain pens as far as I'm concerned, but we will go there. But as far as a quick draw pens, you have to mention the Lamy 2000. The durability is off the charts with this polycarbonate. It is insanely durable. The semi hooded nibs ensure that all of these pens write reliably because a lot of it stays nice and wet behind that hood and the capping uncapping is super satisfying and incredibly effective as well. The Lamy 2000 is going to be the only internal piston filler on our list, which also means with the exception of potentially eye drop bring the preppy or something like that, it's going to be the pen on our list with the highest ink capacity. So win, win, win all around. This one has to be considered as one of the top quick draw pens that we sell. Yeah, it's also got a good range of nib sizes available too. That's not necessarily the case with all the pens on this list. Um, but, uh, you know, it's got a specific kind of a way that they grind the nib, you know, it takes a little bit to get used to sometime, but I think like this pen stands out. They've, they started producing it in 1966 and it has remained relatively unchanged since then. And it still looks like a new pen. Like it still looks kind of futuristic. So hands down, just phenomenal pen. Great job, Lamy, on designing this one. And it's a personal favorite of both of ours, really. 
Okay, last and definitely not least, we have another Lamy on the list. This is the, it's another kind of a combo pen because they're similar, the Lamy Dialogue 3 and the Dialogue CC. Retractable nibs, this one definitely, again, a lot going on up in that nib front section area. So if you like the mechanics and all this kind of stuff, it's very cool, very sleek pens. I think the Dialogue 3 looks a little bit like a hot dog, but that's okay because it's a very attractive looking hot dog. And the Dialogue CC has some, <laughs> Drew looks very confused. Um, it's, it's, the men, it's the Men in Black memory eraser. That's, know that. that's what it is, that's right. It's that memory eraser. Um, but I tell you what it won't erase is the ink that you put down because it's a fountain pen. Um, hey. <laughs> so the uh, Dialogue CC is a relatively new addition, but it's a similar mechanism, similar functionality, same nib, same nib unit in there. Um, it's just a slightly shorter pen. Uh, what's cool about the Dialogue 3 is not only do you get to retract and twist that pen, but the clip also moves slightly out of the way when the nib comes out. So I know that's sometimes an issue. We didn't mention this on the Curie DOS, but I'll throw this in there. You can actually remove that clip if you want to get that clip out of the way. The vanishing point, you just deal with it because you can't do anything about that clip unless you like just rip it off the pen or remove it or something. Don't advise doing that. That breaks your warranty. No, there's gi you'll leave giant holes in your pen. That too. Um, but the Dialog 3 kind of gets it out of the way. And the Dialog CC has no clip altogether. They put a roll stop there instead, which is also pretty much out of the way. That's so a one thing about these retractable nib pens is because you aren't removing a cap where the clip normally would be and putting on the back of the pen, you still have your clip or whatever thing is going on at the front of the pen. So that is one kind of special consideration if you're particularly kind of finicky about the grip or the way that you have to hold the pen, you know, maybe just keep that in mind as you're looking at these retractable nib pens, all of them. But me personally, I never really have an issue with them. And uh, these pens are like the heaviest of the bunch. You know, they're metal, they're very durable. They're, um, I think these ones maybe don't seal quite as well as some of the other ones. That's kind of the one drawback, but they're so cool. The engineering is fantastic. The design is very sleek. And personally, I just love the color selection they have too. I think it's it's very balanced. The blue D Dialog CC with the rose gold trim, so classy. Yes. It looks so good together. Um, and that one is gonna round out our very cool list of 10 quick draw pens. So that's our list updated for 2022. You know, are we gonna wait seven years to do another one? I have no idea, but we might be more inclined to if you let us know in the comments your opinions about what we chose for this list as well as any maybe that we didn't include and that you think are probably worthy of such a title to be a quick draw pen. We would love to know what you all think. Please check all these pens out as well as several other things that are fountain pen related on GoulayPens.com. And if you like these videos and want more like them, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and share it with somebody that uh, you think might enjoy this. We are Brian and Drew. We have been here from Goulet Pens. We hope you've enjoyed this and right on.